Okay, greeting guys. Welcome back to another episode on your Doctor DIY's channel. So today we have a, a Mazda CX-5 now. Uh, we are going to show you how to replace the wiper, right? So this is going to be slightly different because this is the stock wiper. So now we are not going to replace the whole unit itself, but we are just going to replace the refill or we can call it as the, the rubber, rubber, rubber blade. Okay, so we are going to replace this with a good quality rubber base, which is Pia. Okay, these are very well known wipers. They perform extremely well and they last very long. There are number of drivers claim their wipers are performing well after two years. So I'm also using this for my car and the performance is really satisfying. Okay. Some of the advantages of this wiper blade you can see that improve visibility in extreme driving conditions right it also helps to coat your windscreen or your windshield so that rain beats up and roll down easily extremely long life and they say here quiet operation no squeaking sound heat resistant ozone resistant upgrade and drive safer sorry okay so these are some of the advantages of the wiper blades i will put the link in the description below okay uh, where you can purchase this and they also show you how to do the replacement okay so i'm going to we are going to show you now how to do the replacement it's very easy right so first thing first we got to remove the whole wiper itself so gently just carry this thing up all right we carry this thing up and then before you can carry this you have to carry this guy first then only you carry this guy so now there is a, a clip here you just have to pull this clip pull it up okay right so just pull it up once this clip is up then so this clip is pull it up push your wiper in and once you push your push your wiper in there is a so you just gently pull this thing down okay pull it down and take it out okay so when you pull it down pull it down and then you just take it out from the clip now so this is already been removed so this is a complete iron bar you don't want this to be standing out like this for safety purpose gently just put it down or you may put a cloth there so it will not hurt your windscreen but if you are just putting down slowly and you are not going to start the car or nobody's going to go in a car i think this is safe okay because if this thing just drop you will crack your windscreen because that is a complete iron bar so now the same thing you're going to do for this wiper and also the rear one So this is the rear wiper it's quite easy to remove it just lift up the wiper okay and then slight force bring the wiper up until you hear a sound click okay so it have already came out from the from the latch and then you slowly just pull it out okay you just pull it out because the latch is basically going this latch is sitting down on this cylindrical bar here okay so same thing 
gently just lift it down so now we got the rear wiper let's do the change okay guys so we will start with the rear wiper okay so it's quite easy how you remove the blade so you can see here there is a groove okay so we just gently pull this guy out likewise okay. you can just push it in push it in so you take out the rubber blade and then there is two stainless steel plates just gently push and take it out okay uh, they are relatively sharp here so you might be one you want to be careful now then you just gently slide it out from their sitting positions okay you can see uh, there is a, a stopper here a built-in stopper where you cannot remove this uh, so you don't apply any force because this is a plastic material this thing might break so both sides you have the stopper so just gently pull this, this guy out so upon pulling this guy out now this is the blade which you need to replace it comes with the steel sheet so you need not to use this also so you can just take it aside and just keep it okay so you're going to use has is this is the PR wiper blade okay you can see they have written here original PR they got right here 18 inch and also the word PR you are going to gently slide it in and don't remove this because if you remove this and you put in the blade you will have difficulty in placing the steel plate together with the rubber material inside the housing of the wiper so this is like a guide for you to put it in and you remove it during installation so you start at one corner now just to bear with you uh, you can see there is a groove okay can you th there's, there's a groove so at the end here let me just point it okay let me just bring it closer yes so you have a slot slightly some rubber element pro protruding out and then you have a slot again so this particular slot the end one here is some sort like a locker okay it locks the blade to the housing and who is responsible for that this guy okay so this guy here it must sit in the final groove here or the lock the locker part so when it sits there it will not move so that is what we're going to do so in this case I'm going to start this way right I'm going to start this way because this is how you're going to slide it in okay because the locker is this side so you don't want to spoil the locker by putting a lot of force because eventually this clip the locker have to go through this particular slot have to go through this one two three and finally sit here so you will definitely spoil the blade because this is made of rubber so you just slide turn it the other way so there is no locker here it's just a complete you have a deep groove here so you just easily slide it in and it's going to lock this side okay it's same no problem you can use it anywhere there's no any orientation so where it is going to slide because there's a lot of grooves here you see the most biggest part here okay the biggest groove so gently just slide it in together with the iron bar so this is what I'm doing now okay so this is how you slide it in gently slide it in so once you come here then you can just bring this guy over here slowly just push it in 
can see it's going in now. Okay, just gently lift this thing up. Just push it in. Then once you come here, put it inside. Go. Then you go to the third housing, the third rail, the third. So you see, you already come here. So you just gently just push this thing up. And you continue all the way in. So while you are doing that, you might want to check the other side to see whether is the casing in position with the wiper plate. Okay, so they are in position. So you may continue doing it. Slowly slide in until you reach to the end here. Now you may take this blue color slot out. Okay, you just take it out. It's just a plastic slot. You may take it out and continue to push in until the wiper blade reaches to the final uh, final slot here gently put it in so once it goes in you will see that it cannot push in why because this guy here have already reached to the end so you need to apply some force now okay so that this particular slot goes into the last groove to lock this blade into the housing of the wiper so you just have to push it in slowly until it sits in the position so i have reached to the end now i'm going to push until it locks itself so you just want to do a final check it must be in this groove so the first slot is in this groove second slot good third slot okay fourth slot the other side is good okay so there should be a freeze play okay so this wiper is done the rear wiper is done ready to fix similar method you are going to use for the front wipers okay so now we are going to do for the front wiper okay same thing but it's a it's much more easier because you don't have the, the end cap which is installed together with the wiper casing unlike the rear one you have the end cap here so it's much more easier to slide out okay so you have now this guy sitting down in the slot gently just remove this by pushing it out okay so just apply a force here push it out so now it's already out so once it's already out gently just pull it out okay just pull it out all the way you need not to worry about the steel plates okay so once you reach here just completely pull it out no problem so this whole thing we are going to replace because the new one the steel plates are already inside so bear in mind uh, uh, this is actually 24 inches so I have purchased 26 inches so there is uh, additional length here 2 inches so I'm going to cut this off now right so for CX5 wiper measurement for front is 24 inches 18 inches and for the rear is 14 inches okay CX5 year 2013 2.0 so now let's put in the blade so you just want to do a physical examination on your wiper a housing if you observe for any sign of cracks if there is any sign of cracks on your housing you cannot use it you have to replace your entire housing okay so this is good I'm just going to spray silicone spray at the pin connection here 
just to give it a a good move movement just to give it a good uh, movement so same thing we are going to slide it in now okay remember don't slide it in from this way we're gonna slide it in where there is no groove put it in the blue color slots has reached to the end so you just want to take out the slots now Just rotate the wiper and just do a check whether are they in their correct position. So now once it's already in the final groove, you want to get back to the end here. Slowly push it in until it sits at the locking groove. So you just push it in slowly. Yes, both side. And then it's a perfect fit. Okay, we have changed the wiper blades now into the refill which is using PR brand so this is the rear these two are the front twenty four inches eighteen inches fourteen inches so this is the old blade so it's a raining season now you got to make sure your wipers are effective okay uh, some of us we are using a coating on our windscreen but due to heavy downpour or heavy rain the coating will not help much so you need very good sets of wipers personally recommended to use this brand okay PR So we are going to fix it back and we are going to do a test okay so we are going to fix it in it's very simple okay so let me just we go to the blade open this cover slide the metal bar inside here slowly put it in and once you pull up you hear a sound then you press back the clip in this is locked so you are good to go right so this blade now has been properly installed right so we're gonna do for the next one so we have installed the wiper now before we do the test we need to clean the windscreen there's a lot of dirt on the windscreen and it can cause the wiper blade to spoil Okay, due to the abrasiveness of the dirt or the sand particles, okay, it can cause minor scratches on the blade. So what we are going to do now, you know, take a soft, damp microfiber towel, gently just clean the screen before first operation. Okay, so the screen has been cleaned and now we are doing a dry run. Okay. Uh, what is a dry run is basically to on the wipers without the presence of water for about one to two minutes to let the wiper set on the windscreen and to eventually do a coating on the windscreen so gently just wait patiently just wait about one to two minutes okay uh, on your wiper maybe you can on it in the interval or you can on it in a low mode not fast same goes to the back right Okay, so it's already been two minutes now. So the final test is just to simulate some water on the windscreen and see how it performs. So guys, hopefully this video have uh, benefit you in how you can change your wiper blades to the refill. PR wiper blades okay and please bear in mind your wiper blades should be the specs as per in the video there are some blades where you cannot remove the the refill or the rubber material 
you have to change the whole piece okay so you cannot use uh, pr refill plates in those type of wipers okay you should be having the, the type of wipers where the, re, the the material or the rubber part is completely removable so you can use the refill so i hope this video has gave you some information right please do like please do support the channel by subscribing to the channel okay and do comment and also share the information around till we meet again guys checking out from your doctor diy channel cheers and have a nice day okay just for a quick sharing this panel here of your car normally gets scratches because it's made of plastic material most vehicles they might have a protective aluminium plate just like this here or they will just have a pure plastic so when passengers goes inside anybody goes inside they might tend to step this and eventually you will have a lot of scratches okay and it will be quite pain to the eyesight so what i did here is i have basically paste a plastic type of a flim ppf okay i've placed a plastic type of pain protective flim here and over the run you can see it has basically come out not only that it also had left some residue on the plastic surface okay so i'm going to remove this now because i'm not going to use this anymore okay i'm going to share with you this type of protective flint which i got it from the local shop okay you can get it from your local diy shop It is relatively easy to place it and it doesn't leave any residue and the best part is you may remove this and you may use it elsewhere so it's completely reusable right so I'm going to paste this I've already done for the front see now so this is the front it nicely curls in and it doesn't comes out at all smooth to the touch so this is highly recommended you can get this one roll is about less than 15 ringgit or so okay it is just nice for you to put for the four doors okay so we have pasted the protective flip it curves in nicely easily it curves in okay without leaving any wrinkles uh, why because this thing is expandable okay so it curves without any wrinkles so i've curved it in to the rubber part here and the rubber part is out. additionally you can also put it at the side of the door so i install it in another car here so i basically i placed it at the side of the doors because the tendency for the passengers to come out and to hit the panel here is very high you can see the scratch mark here so this is also another protective layer okay